Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am going to film an update for my pan nosed eyeshadows. I know it's been not too long since I've posted the intro. Um, I figured I might as well do an update now because a lot has happened. So the last um, video, the intro, was about two weeks ago and I was working on, let me see, I was working on eight eyeshadows. Now I was doing it a little bit different than the original um, Pandora's eyeshadows, so I was not just randomly selecting them. There were a few shades in there that I want to have in there no matter what. Um, some randomly selected, some randomly selected in specific palettes um, and I picked two eyeshadows with a randomly selected prompt. So for my basic eyeshadows that I wanted to have in there all the time, I uh, was working on a dark matte shade, a transition shade and a lid setting shade. For the dark matte shade, I picked a shade out of my iHeart Revolutions Nude Mini Chocolate Bar and I was working on this shade right here. Um, as you can see, not a lot has been happening. So I have used this shade six times, um, so that is why not much has happened. Um, I started using this thinking it would be a good dark matte to darken up the outer corner and I very quickly realized that this does nothing for me. And let me see if I can show you. There's barely any color payoff like that. Is not really a dark uh, brown. So instead I decided to use another dark map. Maybe I should tell the story and just be in frame. What do you guys think? So since I realized after six uses that that shade wasn't for me, I just threw in another dark matte and that is this one. This is from my chocolate orange palette. Um, it already had quite a dip. I don't think I took any before photos and I also did not track how many times I used this. But um, as you can see, I have hit pan in this shade. It's a tiny pan because I mostly used it as an outer corner shade and as an eyeliner. So I used a pencil brush. So no pan in the actual shade that I wanted to pan, but a nice bonus pan, I guess. And for the transition shade, I picked a shadow that is in my Zuva Blank Fusion palette. And this is also in my A to Z project eyeshadows. Um, and that is this shade right here. This is Question of Taste. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot to see. <laughs> I have used this 12 times and it is a very nice shadow, very pigmented. Don't need a lot and it's moving slowly. And then for my lid setting shade, I was working on the shade Coconut from my Chocolate Elixir palette. I will try and pop up a photo of what it looked like when I started. As you can see, I have hit side pan. I already had pan in this, but as you can see, I have made the pan a lot bigger. And I have used that shade 16 times. So those were the basic shades that I was working on now for the actual eyeshadows. I said that I wanted to work on this palette as my focus palette. I have been working on it and I realized that I do not care for any of these eyeshadows. In all honesty. Um, I was working on the shade 8. And that is right here. As you can see, I managed to hit pan. This took me four extra uses to hit pan. I haven't touched it since, so I'm thinking of picking another focus palette 
maybe just rotating through it. Um, I said in my intro that I would love to be able to pan a whole palette again, um, like I did years before. But for now, I feel like that's just not gonna work for me. Anyway, it's an extra pan, so that's good. Then I wanted to roll in a single shadow and I picked the shade Juno Moon by Nabla. This is also in my A to Z project, um, eyeshadows project pan. And this is a little bit of a spoiler, but here is a Juno Moon. And as you can see, I did hit pan in this. There you go, there you can see. Tiny bit of pan, and it actually only cost me three more uses to hit pan in this. And I mainly use this um, also as eyeliner or to darken out my outer corner. And then I wanted to work on an eyeshadow that already had pan, and I picked one for my chocolate orange palette. And I picked this shade at the bottom. This is Clementine. And as you can see, I did grow the pan a little bit. Um, I've been using this with a fluffy brush in my crease so it's not going as fast but it, the pan is a little bit bigger and I really did enjoy using this. So I have used that 10 times. And then for my two prompts, let me check, I first had to pick a shadow from a palette that had no pan and I randomly selected a shade from my Makeup Revolution um, ELF eyeshadow palette. I randomly selected shade number three and this is what that is looking like. As you can see, I have managed to hit pan in this and it took me seven uses to hit pan. And my other prompt was a shimmery shadow. Again, I just randomly uh, generated an eyeshadow and was like, it will probably land on a shimmery shadow because I have tons of those. And it landed on the shade Paolo Santo from my Miss Bliss um, Colourpop palette. Sorry if I butchered that name. Um, and this is what that shadow looks like. And as you can see, maybe <laughs> there is a tiny bit of pan. Showing, there we go. There you can see. Kind of hard to see because it almost looks like a silver glitter in the eyeshadow, but I definitely did hit pan in this. And that also took me seven uses. So all four shadows that I um, selected that were my basic shades have pan. And of course I already had a shade in there that already had pan, um, so I'm not counting that. Which is why I decided to film this update. Now I'm thinking maybe I should do updates just as I've hit pan in all of the shadows that I've rolled in. Um, with an exception of if a shade already has pan or if it's um, a basic shade. Like one of the three that I always have in there. Or if that's not happening... I will do an update at the end of the month or at the beginning of the next month. Okay, so now for the fun part, I guess. We will um, select some random shadows and I have picked my um, basic shades. I cannot randomly select those and I have also picked one that already has pan. So I will show those first and then we go random select. I have picked the Nabla Dreamy palette for a dark matte shade. This is one of my favorite um, dark matte shades that I have. So that's that one. And I also decided to pick the transition shade that is in here. As you can see, I've worked on both of them a little bit because I like them. Um, but they are really hard pressed, so I'm excited to see if I can maybe hit pen in those. And then for the base shade, I picked the shade Base from my ABH Norvina palette. And I've heard that um, 
ABH eyeshadows are pretty easy to hit pan on, so let's see if I can do that. And then for the one that already has pan, I picked my iHeart Revolution Mini Rose Gold palette. It's this one. And I picked the shade number four. This already has a pan, as you can see. And I've been using this as a blush lately, so I thought, you know, let's chuck it in this project. Okay, so for my single shadows, I have my laptop here, so if I'm looking down, that's what that is. Um, I have 38 single shadows as of right now, so I will put in my phone one through 38. Shake it. 30. Okay, so it is this one right here. And that is called one component. Okay, and now I am going to randomize um, three prompts since I don't have a focus palette anymore. So we're just gonna pick three prompts and then three eyeshadows. So I have um, 61 prompts. We have number 10, number 24, and number 5. And number 5 was an outer corner deepening shade, so I will re-roll that because we already have that in here. 44. Okay, so it was kind of a mess. I rolled um, three prompts and they are an indie shadow high-end shadow and a red shimmery shadow. For uh, indie shadow I have picked another glam shop shadow. Um, I don't know if they qualify as an indie brand but they are the least mainstream promoted brand that I own. So I picked this one is called Kiwi Purple and I know it sounds kind of weird. If you swatch this it's more of a very light green, yellow, with a hint of purple. This is what it is when you swatch it. And I have swatched it on my arm next to all the other shadows. So it is kind of pinky purple, but has an insane yellow um, green shift to it. So I picked that one for indie shadow and I will show you swatches of all of my shadows in a second. For high end I picked another ABH shadow um, and I decided to go with this one, Dazzling. And then for an easy one to describe, a red shimmery shade. I have one red shimmery eyeshadow in my ELF Revolution eyeshadow palette and that is what that looks like. So those are my shadows for this round. Now I have swatched them all. I hope you can see them because I didn't do the best job. So this is Nabla um, Dogma, the dark brown. This is Nabla Illusion, the transition shade. This is ABH um, Base, which is the base shade. This is the shadow from my mini um, rose gold that already had pan. How will I show you the other ones? Oh goodness, oh goodness. I did them all wrong, didn't I? I'll see if I can do it this way. That's much better. Now focus. There we go. Okay, so. Then here we have the first glam shop single in one component as you can see it's kind of a brown with blue and green shimmers in it next to it is kiwi purple you can see the purple to it but also the green yellow shift this is abh um dazzling and then here we have the red shimmery shade 
Okay, so that is it for this update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what shade you think is gonna be the most difficult for me to use this month. And maybe you have any ideas of how I can use it. Uh, if you would like to see more of my updates or other videos of me, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.